Thanks for joining us here on News Channel 25 WVTT. I'm Alexa Olson. This is Twin Tiers Evening News. Jeff Angelonis off tonight. The big story here on Twin Tiers Evening News. A preliminary hearing set for tomorrow for alleged countersport killer Greg Eldred. That hearing was delayed while Eldred underwent psychiatric evaluation. Eldred is accused of killing his ex-wife while she played the organ during services at the Presbyterian Church in Countersport, Pennsylvania, back in December. The FBI says that before the murder, Eldred was the subject of an ongoing investigation, but they're not releasing any details on that investigation as of yet. Darlene Sittler was a music teacher at Northern Potter Schools. Eldred was a music teacher at the Countersport School District. New York State has set aside $3 million to provide air conditioners for the cooling assistance program. Eligible households must meet income guidelines and have at least one person with a medical condition that makes hot weather dangerous for them. People can apply for this program at local social services agencies. Eligible households will receive one air conditioner that will be installed at no charge. Olean's water is pure and contamination free and as we told you about in the last half hour, according to federal and state guidelines, it is pure and contamination free. The city's annual water quality report has been released and it gets a passing grade. Improvements were made last year to the water treatment and distribution system. Public Works Director Tom Windis says that Olean's water stands up against any municipality. Governor Andrew Cuomo was to be in Buffalo today, but has delayed his visit due to inclement weather. He's traveling across the state to sign the state budget the legislature passed last week. This $135 billion on-time budget is hailed by state and legislature leaders to be middle class and family friendly. And stipulations on a new New York State ban could hinder or help New Olean retail stores. Many retail locations open and request tax breaks to ease the cost of starting up a new business. With the passage of this state budget just a few days ago, it brought a ban on those tax breaks for retail businesses like clothing stores and food venues. The ban could hurt the area and its expansion, but there are three stipulations. If the rental, excuse me, if the retail shop is part of a tourism push, if it's in an area of economic distress, or if it offers a new commodity to the area, that the area hadn't previously had. April marks the National Donate Life Month, and to celebrate, the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation is reminding driver license and ID card holders that they can help someone else live a longer, fuller life by simply registering online to be an organ donor. PennDOT Secretary Barry Shook says potential donors considering to be considering becoming an organ donor don't have to wait until they renew their license. There are steps that can be taken right now. He says all you have to do is visit this website. It's www.dmv.state.pa.us and select the Donate Life Pennsylvania icon at the bottom of the page. You can see this website on the bottom of your screen right now. More than 8,000 Pennsylvanians are waiting for organ transplants. PennDOT says the number of people killed in highway crashes last year is the third lowest ever recorded. That number, a little more than 1,300 people. That's why 24, excuse me, that's 24 more than last year. The number of crashes, fatal and non-fatal, has been decreasing. Officials attribute it to highway safety laws signed by Governor Tom Corbett. PennDOT Secretary Barry Shook says, quote, while highway fatalities increased last year, we're encouraged that historically deaths on our roadways are trending downward. However, our highway safety mission will continue. The lawsuit against a state trooper over an incident in Bradford is being dropped. That suit was in response to a trooper that pulled a woman over while she was trying to get medicine for her sick child at a convenience store in Bradford back in March of 2012. She was pulled over for running a stop sign and crossing Jackson Avenue. Witnesses at the scene that day tell WVTT that police asked her to exit the vehicle while they questioned her while her sick child waited in the car. The case was dropped voluntarily. There have been snow flurries off and on today, and they're supposed to continue tomorrow, but that doesn't mean the risk of wildfire is necessarily low. In fact, the risk of wildfire is elevated today and tomorrow as moist ground conditions continue to dry out. There will also be gusty winds and drying fine fuels create an elevated risk of fire spread. For more information about wildfire danger, burn restrictions, and wildfire prevention, visit your local state forestry or environmental protection website. 
And tonight, campaign reform could be coming to New York State as a number of advocacy groups are standing behind New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's plan to change the New York campaign finance laws. An $815,000 media campaign will kick off with a message that political races are dominated by big money. Cuomo's proposal reduced maximum excuse me, maximum contributions and will require disclosure of the sources of campaign funding. Nothing will restore the trust more than campaign finance. And until we have com campaign finance, nothing else will. That's why what you're doing is so important. Thank Cuomo's own campaign showing $22.4 million on hand from traditional fundraising. We have much more coming your way. You're not going to want to miss it. Stick around here on News Channel 25 WVTT.